Hello! It's not eight to no oh hey yes, so I am still at work, but I figured I'd make this quick video so I can be over and done with it. Oh hey so I had just found out that um me um that the original treatment of a ladding had out out a bee who would have been in love with um, Aladdin um, and in the end he marries her she was switching part of his gang of thieves yeah and uh, he ends up marrying her instead of Princess Jasmine so the question that I'm gonna be asking is will she have been a Disney princess? alright so um as you, if you've watched my other videos on the subject, you know that it takes more to be a Disney princess than just being a princess in the Disney film. And on that note, you don't have to be a princess to be a Disney princess. Uh, and there are, there are three requirements. Well, Three compulsory requirements needed to be a Disney princess. One, you must be human, or at least end up human. Two, you must have a primary role in an anime movie. And three, you must not be introduced in a sequel. And then there's the fourth one, being, being have an animal sight here. Now, I mean, there are also three criteria, but you only have to meet one of them. Either be born royal, marry royal, or perform an act of heroism. That last one was introducing that Mulan to be a Disney princess. So let's see how Abby would hold up. Is she human? Yes! Does she have a primary role in an anime movie? Yeah! Does she... Starting to see, oh, no! I mean, does she make a debut in a sequel? No. Is she born well? No. Does she marry royal? No. Does she perform an act of handsome? Yes. Well, I hope she wouldn't have done in the fight in the, the original treatment of Aladdin. So, yeah, she pretty much home. So, will I be, have been a Disney princess? I hope. I hope she wouldn't have done. So yeah, that's basically it for this. <laughs> what do you think? I'll leave the link to where I found this in the description below. So yeah, see you in the next video guys. And until then, curse off you mangy dogs!